Today we're gonna to be doing the second part of the coilover install on the Bozoku Cressida. We're installing our BC coilovers and also, big news, uh, we got a couple things in as well. We have two of our SSRs from three piece uh, with the tires all mounted and everything. So we can maybe later today mount them up. That might be a different video once we have all four of them. Uh, and then we also got our special lug nuts in direct from SSR. Uh, these are called shank nuts. These are exactly meant for SSR wheels, Mark one, two, and three, I believe. Also, if we come over here, I got the, I'm gonna try and not get my hands all greasy, but uh, shit, I'm gonna pick up the other one. We got the bottom of the BC coilover all welded up to the knuckle spindle thing. And uh, I did it myself with flux core. I did a pretty good job. Uh, it being flux core, you can see that there's a bunch of, uh, you know, stuff in the yeah, you don't have to zoom in on there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let them know. Back up that. Anyways, I got plenty of penetration. I have no worries about this at all. You know, whatever you guys can comment. My, my welding is subpar at best. However, uh, it's gonna be plenty for the way that the suspension is designed. Um, we're gonna go ahead and uh, paint these up because this is exposed metal. I had to grind all this down in order to weld it. So we're gonna paint these up and then uh, I did buy some new wheel bearing grease, that way we could try and repack the bearings and then also put some on the spindles themselves um, before we put everything together. And then uh, later on, after we install the coilovers and, and maybe test fit the wheels, uh, we're gonna have to do some adjustment in the coilovers, so that's why it might be for another day. Uh, but we're, that's really just like a bonus. I highly doubt that's gonna happen. But anyways, after we install that, uh, we're also going to be messing around with this car and the transmission issue. Uh, we did get some longer bolts like we had discussed. Uh, these are like six or seven inches or something like that. So this should, should be, this should be more than enough to be able to back that transmission out of there. And we're just gonna hope for the best. But what you guys are mostly interested in is the coilovers. We're gonna get to that. Alrighty, so we've had these things up here kind of baking over by the heater a little bit just to hurry up the process a little bit. I did spray this on a little thick. I have a couple of layers on here. Hopefully it's good enough. I didn't really prep it very well, but what are you gonna do? Uh, now we're gonna attach these to the bottom of the BC coilovers and then start reassembling everything in the front. Anyways, uh, pretty much we'll put this other clip in here once we tighten down this brake line. We'll do that on both sides and then uh, I think we're gonna go ahead and make sure everything's square, tightened up, uh, make sure both coils are at least around the same height for now and then uh, we'll let it on the ground and see how high it is. Um, it looks like it's gonna be significantly higher than the rear but that's okay because we have plenty of room to go down. All right, so we've got the front coilovers all put together. Um, I didn't bother measuring these out. Everything's gonna have to be changed anyways, but they're approximately the same. Uh, we're gonna put this hood down. We're gonna put on the SSR since I think this is gonna be tall enough. And then we're also gonna be able to tell how much poke we're gonna have and if we're gonna need spacers or not.
basically what Chris was saying, or at least I believe so, is that this isn't enough poke for the flares that I got. Yes, that's correct. Uh, basically, this is the biggest lip I could buy for these wheels, or at least get custom made for these wheels, at least here in the US. And uh, you know, I did look for other options and tried to get really deep ones, but it just wasn't really a, a feasible option. It, it, it was just I, I, something that I just couldn't do. I, I just couldn't find the set, and I don't know, I wouldn't have been able to find tires and everything. So uh, basically, I had to get Mark ones, you know, shipped in from Japan through three piece, and then through three piece, they got me custom lips, and they got me custom lips basically as big as I could get without, you know, spending a huge amount of money on basically, you know, 100%, you know, like crazy. I don't, I don't really know exactly. Just basically, I asked them for the largest lip that I could get. Um, and then overall, I have a lot more reasonable size. I'd rather run a more reasonable size tire, something that I can get here in the States, and then run a spacer, which, speaking of that, the reason I went with Archer Plates is basically because I had no other option. This was the only tire I could get in this size or anywhere near this size. Um, I don't have a ton of stretch. A lot of you guys are commenting that uh, a lot more Bozo cars have a lot more stretch, and some of them do. Some of them have a pretty crazy amount of stretch. However, the Bozo car style that I'm going for does not have a crazy amount of stretch, and they don't have like crazy super tight fitment. Now, this is going to have pretty decent fitment, but it's not going to be you know crazy like Miata Stance Boy fitment where you know there's you know next to no clearance if any at all. So uh, I'm really just trying to make this a very kind of drivable car for what it's going to be. I want to be able to turn without breaking my fiberglass fenders or anything like that. Anyways guys, that's gonna be it for today. Uh, I hope you guys are as excited about this as I am. Uh, as you can tell, the project is really starting to move along now. Uh, a lot of you guys don't realize that, um, you know, like I've been saying for a really long time, as soon as the bodywork starts getting close, other stuff's gonna start coming in that's a little bit easier to finish and install and stuff like that, like the coilovers, the wheels, the tires. So I know everything's starting to come together now and I can't wait until we start installing the fender flares really going to start coming together and you're going to start envisioning the whole car together. Anyways guys, that's it for today. Peace out.